Hi, I'm Sango and I've been making wearables for Decentraland since the community wearable update. Now I'm also a curator on the Decentraland wearable committee. In this series I'll be going through this entire process of making wearables, from downloading the base mesh and modelling, through to texturing, weighting, testing and publishing. In this third video I'll be going through the setup, that's basically just downloading Blender and the base mesh, both of which are completely free, but you will need to pay attention when we import the base mesh as many people make an error here and it causes issues down the line. So to start with, open your browser and head to blender.org. Click download Blender and once again on this page to start your download. Let that download and install. While this is doing its thing, you can head over to docs.decentraland.org, click create on the left hand column, then wearables, wearable overview. Scroll to the bottom of this page and click wearable reference models. This will take you to a Google's docs page. Right click base mesh and download the folder. Once this is downloaded, go ahead and unzip it and in there we have the female and male base mesh. Open up Blender and start a new project. Select the box, the camera and the light and delete them by pressing delete or on a, on a PC or on X on a Mac. Then go to file, import, .fbx. Locate where you save the files and open either the male or female base mesh. And here's the important part. Go to the armature drop down and select ignore leaf bones. A lot of people do not do this and wonder why they can't see their mesh when they bring it into the builder. If you didn't ignore leaf bones then this could be why. Here we have both the male and female models side by side so we can see the differences. As you can see here there's two differences, the first one being the chest shape and the second one being the waist height. So you can see here the male is, waist is lower and the female waist is higher. This means that if we're interchanging the upper and lower body between the male and female we need to be making a whole new representation for this model so that it fills in the gaps properly. So as I, I demonstrate here we're going to see what would happen if you move the male body over onto the female and the female onto the male. So the upper body onto the female, you can see there's a gap in the waist. The same if we move the male over to the female, it's going to be clipping over the, the waist on the lower body and vice versa. So to do this, you need to make sure you've got your different files. For, if you've got upper body, you're going to need two files, one with the female and one male. Same with the lower body, you're going to need a female and a male representation for those parts. When you import the base mesh and work from it like this, all the weighting is already in place so you only really have to fill in the gaps where you add more geometry when it comes to weight painting if you use this method. But I'll get more into that in another video. So that's how you get started up creating wearables, nice and simple but I'm sure it'll help a few. In the next video we'll get into the modelling of our first wearable. So as long as you take from this that you need to make sure you ignore leaf bones when importing your base mesh then that's going to help you a whole lot in the future. So I'll catch you on the next one.